All right, so I just thought it'd be fun just to show you this little contraption here. So obviously these uh, Aaron's handlebars, they always have this problem where they're always breaking either down here or cracking at the vault or different things. So this guy, he welded a steel rod on, which is, you know, not a bad idea. You know, take some scrap metal and weld it on. But then when you go to the other side, I, I couldn't quite process enough when I took it off. He had this bar going from here. To here, I'm like, all right, well, we'll just, you know, pull her off and it'll be good to go and, you know, different things like that. And here's the bar right here, you know, it, it used to go something just like that right across. Well, I don't know if the guy knew this or not, but you can't weld aluminum to steel. <laughs> yeah, this piece right here is aluminum. Light as a feather. I was like, whoa, okay, this thing's a little bit lighter than I thought, you know, you you picture that thick of a piece and you know you go to pick it up it's like whoa okay that's a little bit different so the guy tried to weld the aluminum just like that onto the frame now that's pretty funny he must have had like a harbor freight weld and was like yeah sure just weld it on joe all done that's pretty funny i find it funny anyway let's pop this handlebar off oh yeah There was four snowblowers here this morning. There's not a single snowblower left in this one room now. Anyway, so we got everything all chopped up here, as you can tell. I gotta stand over here, it's just stand in a little small spot over there. But we got everything all chopped up now. Uh, this tour here was actually a little bit different. Must have been because of an older style, different change. First, they kicked on. Uh, this one here, remember how I showed you guys a few weeks back? I think it was two weeks ago or last week maybe, uh, how the bolts on the side were there. And you know, if you cut them off, cut them off. Well, these ones here are actually a little bit better design, I noticed. These ones here are on the inside, and these ones here just require a 916 uh, socket on the bottom and 916 wrench on the top, because you can't quite get a socket in there, so, yeah. But uh, one thing I actually just want to check for you guys to save you guys the hassle, see if these bolts are welded or if they just uh, stuck in there. Nope. Those bolts right there are actually welded on the back side so that should save anyone a lot of time on next time they go to chop them up or something so that'll be pretty good. Good to know I guess. But I think the Toro here is probably the easiest to take apart than the Arians because these Arians have not been apart since well factory. <laughs> You know, so I'm gonna get this place now cleaned up because it is just a wreck in here, as you can tell. Uh, I sorted out the motors. Those are the two motors that I already sold uh, to, to Dwayne's friend there, something like that. So he's gonna take those today. And uh, that engine there has bad valves. Not gonna, we're not gonna fix it. And this engine right here, uh, no, that engine right there, actually, the uh, exhaust bolts are all fucked up. They're all stripped out. You can't really retap them. We someone's already tried to do it. Did a shitty job. So we're just gonna part that engine out. You know, save the crank and stuff like that. It's a ten horse, so should make up pretty good there. I'm still trying to figure what I'm gonna do with my Husqvarna. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna store it underneath the deck for the winter. And so be it. Maybe in the summertime, fix it. Just hate to get rid of it. Oh yeah. If you guys uh, messaged me if I got a new TV, no. Didn't get a new TV, I actually just found this trash up, this box and trash up the street there. So I can actually use it to, uh, to do some packing materials with it. So that worked out pretty good, but someday we'll get rid of the antique until it breaks. We ain't getting rid of it until it breaks. Saving my money for a new pick em up truck. That's right. Hopefully, uh, let's see, hopefully somewhere late December. I plan on getting a new pick em up truck, just so you guys knew. I already know what I want. Um, battery's getting ready to die, so I'm not going to tell you what I want. Obviously, it's going to be Ford 2350. Um, you know, I'll do, as the months goes on, I'll tell you exactly what I want. And maybe you guys can find one. I actually uh, know a guy in Florida that actually might uh, be able to ship me a truck up from Florida, and that would be really nice if that could possibly happen, but you never know. Anyway. We'll get back to you in a little bit here once I'm done picking up this disaster. Holy crap, look at all the orange and red. 
All right, well, time to focus on things a little bit different now. Again, I got this leaf blow in here. I've had this thing in here for a couple of days now, and well, actually a couple of weeks now, and I haven't even had time to freaking look at it. So I gotta get on that uh, pretty much right now. It's about eight o'clock, and uh, yeah, so friggin' uh, I can't show you what's behind me just yet, unless you just caught that little glimpse of it. Um, so kind of a shit luck day, I guess we'll call it. Um, Let's see, where to start? Chopped up the snow blowers this morning. Um, got a call from my buddy Dwayne there. You guys remember that I was going to get that uh, log splitter from him. Well, actually it wasn't from him, but another guy that he knew. Um, turned out the guy's keeping the log splitter. Not going to get the log splitter for a hundred bucks. Uh, the setting up thing, and he, he already... We had kind of already had a deal going with him on getting a bunch of snow blowers and this and that and a big compressor tank. And uh, Billy, uh, another leaf blower, this and that. Um, I'll move out of the way, so the wind isn't blowing the thing there. Um, yep, he broke the deal, so I guess we're not going to get that. That kind of so sucks. So then, we've been planning this trip up to, you know, for a little while now to go pick up these engines I've been telling you guys about. I mean, there were these racks and racks of engines like you just couldn't believe I'm talking. Hundreds of engines. This is no joke. And uh, we were supposed to, I'll even tell you the exact amount we were supposed to get. There was hundreds of engines, small engines, lawnmower, snowblower, tractor, some that were brand new in the boxes. Um, it was the power equipment dealership. They were going out of business. We just happened to be at the right spot at the right time. And they were going to sell it to us. So last week they were supposed to go up Thursday. Oh, my phone's ringing. If it's important, I'll have to pick it up. If not, I'll have to end it. Uh, let me uh, check this out for a second. And we're back. So anyway, so, yeah, we're supposed to see all these engines, this and the other thing. And some of these parts, there's a lot of parts there, brand new in the boxes. We're supposed to get it all for $400, which is a fucking killer deal. So, we go to pick up PJ. You guys all know him, and, uh, Dwayne there gets a little text from one of his friends that works there. Saying, uh, George there sold all the engines. Go figure. He sold all the engines to some scrapper. Yep. Sold them all out and uh, you know wasn't too happy about that. You know we already had the deal going with him and uh, we were supposed to go up there last week. We kind of sort of ran into a little thing here and there. We couldn't go there and uh, you know we're gonna go up this week and nope. Sold them all out just uh, just yesterday apparently. So yeah, that kind of sort of sucks, but uh, the guy did save a toolbox for me. Yippee. Aluminum toolbox that goes in the back of the pickup truck. Whatever. Like, I'm never going to use it. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, so we still have PJ with us, and we're like, yep, yeah, what are we going to do now? So, we had to go up there anyway. We had to go pick up some stuff, and uh, we kind of sort of scored a little deal here. Um, I'm not really sure what Dwayne paid for all this stuff, but I know what I paid for. Um, this engine isn't mine. Briggs ELS 21. Um, not really sure what his plan is with it. V-twin. And I picked up this guy. This is the tractor I bought. I bought it for 200. Uh, let's take a little walk around here. You know, it's just a regular Craftsman LT 1000 tra tra chassis with like a DLT style hood uh, set up on with the electronic PTO. It's got the 21 horse. Briggs V-Twin, same exact engine that's right over there. Um, only thing different is this engine here, it's blown up. Uh, one of the pistons, uh, the rod, is gone, spun probably, and uh, yeah. So, this is uh, my new tractor, I guess we'll call it. We're gonna maybe, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do with this one yet. I'm not gonna chop it. Just way too nice. It's got a 48 inch deck on it. Electronic PTO engagement. That's 243 hours on it, which isn't bad. Automatic transmission, hydrostatic drive type deal. Grill's a little bit different, you know. So, but uh, yeah, so one of these rods is spun. I don't know which one. There's like little to no oil in the thing. Can't possibly imagine why. You know, friggin' leaky ass too. But, um, you know, it's it's fairly new model. It's a 2005 model. 
you know, it's not that old. It's old, but not that old. It has a brand new um, steering arm down the bottom, as you can see right there. It's got the cast iron front axle. I mean, I really haven't even had time to look at it yet. I don't even know how the blades are. Probably sharp. Actually, not too, too bad. Not too, too bad. Deck's in pretty nice shape, you know. But I picked this thing up for 200 and, uh, you know, th this engine came with the package deal of this one, but I bought the tractor off of Dwayne for a separate X amount of dollars, which I just said was 200 But, um, yeah, so my plan is actually is to leave this tractor alone pretty much till the spring. Or, yeah, at least the spring anyway. I want to pull the engine out of it. I want to see on the inside of the engine what it needs, what's wrong, and I hope to rebuild the engine and uh, different things like that. And the last tractor I got from him or the dealership there is the Husqvarna that is sitting right outside this wall, right beside that window there, which is my big heavy-duty Husqvarna LTH um, 24 whatever, and I stuck 27 horse in it, something ridiculous V-twin, because I'm out of my fucking mind. But, um, yeah, so anyway, so, I, I don't really know. There's only pretty much one way to tell if this thing's blown or if it's got head problems, because that dealership doesn't know jack shit about working on stuff. We'll put it that way. Eeyore! There. So, I'm going to just put her away at this guy for a little bit, just to see if the, uh, the piston moves on which one it might be bad or you know you never know with these deals you never freaking know but overall the tractor's pretty good not a speck of rust on it just a little dirt right there hey okay, with the frig there it is so I'll be curious just see ya which side might be bad, which side might be good. I mean, it would cost probably about 100 bucks to fix it. But luckily I already have the oil sub gasket. I've had it for quite some time. Um, I had one just sitting around in here. Wow, that spark plug's like friggin' in there. But the tractor's immaculate. Let's put it that way. Look at the frame. No dirt on it. Look at the engine. Like, this tractor's probably was only used... I don't know. Really not much, I can tell you that. <laughs> what the frig? Oh, it's got that stupid ass little black safety cap thing in there. I didn't punch my note. Alright, so if you ever wondered how to check a piston if it's good or bad, I'll show you how to do it. That spark plug is brand fucking new. Holy shit. Well, it's pretty much luckily convenience. Stick a screwdriver in there. If you are not holding the camera and you're semi retarded, if you spin it, which hmm, piston didn't move. So, my guess is that I'm on the wrong side here. Let's take a look at the other side. I don't want to make sure your screwdriver gets stuck in there because if you do that, you're going to gouge the piston. Sorry about the shakiness, guys. But I think that might be the blown side. Come on. This is just not simple tonight. Okay, screw this damn socket. We're getting a better one. And knock that son of a bitch out later on. Let's see. Of course there's not one there. There's one. See, no black little rubber boot protector, stupid ass safety nonsense. Wow, what the hell? I guess it would have been as simple as just to do this. Look at the block. 
Like this thing is clean. So I just saw uh, Pister's little Facebook update there. That thing freaking came out nice. That Ford Escape there. Okay, so we were there. Thing looks like it never was even rolled over. So yeah, there's the. Uh, see, see how the piston moving. Don't ever get a jam because if you get the fucking jing jam, you're uh, freaked over big time. Put it that way. So that's the cylinder there. That's bad. And uh, you know, maybe tomorrow if I have some time. Actually, this doesn't even go to this. <laughs> uh, tomorrow if I have some time, I'll uh, take the engine off, pop the oil sub, and take a look at it. But I got uh, I got this guy's blower. I got to look at and. Uh, Tomorrow I hope to uh, to finish up that house like I was telling you guys, so, yeah. But, anyway, just let's just show you guys the stuff. Racked up a couple minutes in the video anyway. So, what the lucky, yeah. Let me just actually check one more thing here. This is a 03. 777, blah, 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 8461. Seven 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 forty six eight eight one oh three. Yep. Look at that. Same exact engine. So if I could, I could buy this engine for two hundred and stick it in there. Or, wow, well, brand new air filter. Eh, almost new. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know. So you guys tell me what what do you think? Should I a, fix that engine? <coughs> And then uh, sell it in the spring. You know, let it sit in, uh, over the winter and then sell the spring. Or B, buy this engine and uh, put it in there and try and maybe sell it this year. Eh, sure, guys. You guys let me know what you guys think. So, anyway, we'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. Till then, don't get screwed. See ya.